Looking out for the little guy, President Trump promising big benefits for small businesses. Small business optimism is at its highest point in 34 years. And we are just getting started. This, as we see some of the benefits of the House and Senate tax bill could have, and some pass-through businesses, including a 20% reduction for the filer's top rate. Here now is Jamie Richardson, White Castle Vice President. Why is that important to your folks? It's important because it's the biggest good thing for small business in three decades and a generation. So it's so important because hardworking Americans are going to be able to keep more of their hard-earned dollars. Yeah. And those are small businesses that own franchise shops, that own burger shops, that earn all those kind of things and employ people and people think they have these huge margins. And when you look at it, they really don't at they really, all. They really don't. And in fact, they're more compressed than ever as labor rates rise. Yeah. It's more important than ever that we finally get a break that can help those franchisees. And we're all company-owned restaurants, but right. it helps each and every one of our general managers do a better job and take better care of our customers. Yeah. Uh, I heard somebody say not uh, too long ago, earlier today, in fact, that um, you know Republicans are concerned that we're not going to really see this boost in the economy and then they're going to go into 2018 and things aren't going to be much better. That struck me as hogwash. I would have to agree. Yeah. And if you look back a year ago, we started to see the market react. I don't think the market was reacting to health care or anything else. It was yeah. all about this idea of a fundamental tax cut. And now we're going to see Main Street get to see the benefits of that at last. So we're this close, and let's hope they can get across the finish line. You said to me during the break that it would be one thing if we were looking at 35 to 33 percent tax you know, break for businesses. But to bring it all the way down to 20, we're going to see a big boost in the economy. Yeah, this is a 40 percent reduction in, in tax rates. And there's some other really thoughtful growth-oriented policies that are part of it, too. Yeah. Um, and, and so they go and we see this economic boom. Uh, people also saying it's going to be all companies. It's not going to be individuals. Do you buy that? I absolutely don't buy that. What we know is that when hard-working Americans have more dollars in their pocket, they're going to be able to have more discretionary income. They're going to dine out a bit more often, uh, hit the drive through a little bit more often, and they're going to have a, an ability to invest in their futures as well. And when big companies see a tax break, I mean, they, they always say, oh, the data shows they hold on to that money, they do stock buybacks, they don't do what they're supposed to. Is that true or do they hire more people and do they invest in infrastructure and capital equipment and do they lower prices to consumers to stimulate things? With the pace of change the way it is and the need to really engage with your workforce, there's no way you can't invest back in your people and back in the future. So that's what we're going to do at White Castle. We're going to look to build more restaurants, hopefully. Yeah. We're going to hire more people, and it's going to make a difference in each of our neighborhoods. If you don't, if you held on to that cash, wouldn't your competition just lower the price or raise the wage and drive you away anyway? Yeah, yeah the fact of the matter is we have to stay a quarter step ahead of competition. I know they might be listening. That's okay. Yeah. We're among friends. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for us, it really is about taking the long view. As a family-owned business, we don't have to worry about next month, we definitely yeah. need to take the long view and worry about what's best for our In people. In fact, I asked you what you brought here with you, this Crave I case, did. and it has to do with the fact that people are changing the way that they consume things. I mean, this is really, you know, it's emblematic of what everybody is going through everywhere, that you have to try and change and accommodate how people are doing things. People want to come in, pick up their stuff, and yeah. go or order online. What's this about? Well, this is the Crave Caddy. It features a, a <laughs> carry strap. It is the <laughs> ultimate fashion accessory, yes. runway ready, and it holds a Crave case, which has 30 birds in it, but when you order online, you get one of these for free. Yeah. And so we think it's uh, just another way to encourage more people to use the technology that's in their hand already, use the mobile app. Makes it a little bit easier for our teams because we can prepare ahead. And you're trying to adapt to the fact that so many restaurants, especially casual dining, it, or adapting with an app on your phone or whatever so you can order ahead. Moms like me, I mean, when I come in with my three kids, they're not going to sit there and wait for everything to be made or they're going to drive me crazy while they're doing it. So I've got to order ahead on the phone, get it ready to go. And you guys have to deal with changes like that all the time. Now is not the time in business to be nostalgic. It's about to be looking forward and getting ahead of it because we have to meet our customers where yeah. they are. And so empowering them and what's easiest for them. So this is the biggest change since the drive through All that costs money. I mean, you have to to innovate, you have to hire people, you have to stay competitive. With a tax break, you can do more of that. The economy will boom. I just know it. Jamie, thanks for coming in. Always Craig appreciate Vaughan. it.